Hello, beautiful souls. Hello, twin flames, soulmates, light workers, and or star seeds, healers, and empaths, earth angels. Hello, hello, hello. Long time no see. Welcome to the tarot closet. Welcome to your twin flame reading. Yeah, it's it's been a while, you guys. I had the most beautiful reading channeled for you and I lost it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I lost it. And it was just, it was really a devastating loss actually because it was quite a beautiful reading. So then I've just been caught up with everything. But anyway, here we are. Hello, welcome back to the tarot closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you. Whoa, so much for joining me. Okay. Well, I don't love seeing that, you guys. As you can see, it is the full card in reverse. We're also seeing, look, the King of Wands in reverse, you guys, and the Five of Swords in the upright. This is somebody who doesn't have, well, it's hot and cold energy. I'm going to tell you this is the King of Wands. It's hot and cold, you guys. It's fire. It's the fastest energy. It's the energy of love. It's the idea of love. It's in reverse. So this person might be, this might be somebody who just ran. can also be somebody who's been on the run, but it's somebody who's not really ready to face things. And for me, that's conversation. This is the five of swords, you guys. So it can be that there was, there were some words said between the two of you before the separation, but most likely, more than likely, what I'm feeling here, especially with the full in reverse, is, well, this is, of course, no communication and no contact, but this is already showing us what has, that's too many, you guys, what has gone on in this connection. Conflicting energy, yeah, look at that. Oh, gosh, you guys. Okay, well... Here's the thing, that's the truth, might be coming. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. And because look what is here in the partnership placement, it's the Empress. This is your twin flame really wanting to open up to you and speak the truth. And this is them coming back into your energy, you guys. It's the Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, we all, we're also seeing the full card. It's the very first card coming down. And we know that this, your twin flame hasn't been around, that this is somebody who's been really careless with your feelings. I mean, we also saw that in the five of swords. So that's not surprising, is it? This was wanting to push itself off. You guys, this is really clear. Uh, look at this. Whoa, it's the Seven of Swords in reverse. So your twin flame wants to make some kind of amends. Could it be that there's a message coming? Some of you might be seeing your twin flame. I don't know, you guys. That's a stretch, but let's see. The Four of Pentacles, it's in reverse. This is the Sun in Capricorn energy. And, well, yeah, here's the thing. Have, has your twin flame let you go? No, I mean, you don't really let your twin flame go, do you? But something is going on, I want to say, in their life. This can also be you. I feel like this is your twin flame. That they're going through, that they've lost a lot. They're wanting to reach out. Whoa. Yeah, look, you guys. This is where their energy is the strongest. And so this... This is an energy that um, does belong to them that I was feeling. It's the Ten of Swords, and it's in the upright. This is the Sun in Gemini, and it's also the Strength card. You guys are here. You guys are here. And I want to tell you something. Of course, this is Leo energy. It's also the Sun, the Source, God, Goddess, the Universe, the Divine. This person is trying to get the strength here to come in and emotionally say something to you. And I say this person, I say you're a twin flame. They're still in some denial, you guys. You can see in the full card in the upright and the judgment card in reverse. They're afraid to, they're afraid to make some changes in their life, but they have hit the bottom here, you guys. And this energy was strong before it came in. I really felt it. There might be, they might be going through some big changes and some loss in their life. So more change, 
is something that this person is afraid of. However, let's see what's coming in because, well, do I feel like the Empress is here to grow your connection twin flame? I don't. I do feel like this is the divine, divine timing. This is growth and this is communication. So, but I, this is divine feminine energy, by the way. I do feel that everybody's in their shadow work right now, in particular, your twin flame. You could also be here, of course, okay? There could be something going on in your life as well, okay? However, it came through very strong from the get-go, and it's still here that this is... Your twin flame is going through shadow work. They might be coming in here with a message. We need to see. But in the process of not untangling something... It's sort of like losing everything. What, what is that song? Losing everything like is the sun going down on me. That's the Ten of Swords. They want a new cycle, but, you know, the Judgment card, they're still in denial about something. I mean, it's the Fool in Reverse. So it's the opposite of the Fool beginning the journey, you guys. There's not a lot of hope. They're afraid to take chances. They don't really want to go off on something new here. Okay, so your reading is, whoa, yeah. Your reading has just been coming down and, and I haven't had, look you guys, in fact, this is going here. I haven't had a chance to say anything. Twin Flames, all the links are below. Um, all the playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person, general love tarot readings, you'll know if they're for you or not. Of course, twin flame readings, the playlist is attached to your reading today, but you'll find more below. The tarotcloset.com, where I do offer personal readings. And I will link all the decks that come in. Remember that the future is not fixed. Everyone has free will, energies, outcomes. They can and they will, and they do change. All readings are timeless and meant for you when you get here. Twin Flames, I'm channeling this particular reading in May 2023. But yeah, when you're here is when you're here. Of course, it's a lot, it's very likely for many of you that this is months, years later. For some of you, this is real time, of course, as well. But your messages come when, when you when you see the reading, when you're ready to watch the reading. It's a general reading, so please remember to take what's for you and let the rest go. Okay, I just had to say all that, and look what came here, came down. I'm just not surprised by this. It's, of course, it's the devil card. This is very connected to the lover's card. This is Capricorn and Saturn energy. And this person is going through something, you guys. Are you... Are you guys connected and going through it together? Well, shadow work, yeah. That's what's happening here. Everybody is in their shadow work. This is in the upright. You're also tethered. And you might be feeling a little bit, and it might be that they're getting back into this energy too of wanting to connect. I am feeling that. And you might be feeling like, well, yeah, you're having a hard time. If it's not detaching, maybe there's a little bit of obsessive energy right now around your twin flame, around just seeing what they're doing. A little bit of a little bit of obsessed energy, okay? But I do want to say whether this is you or them, I do feel it's them that they're going through possibly something in their life, breakup, I don't know, you guys, a divorce, some addiction. There's something going on and that came through from the very get-go. It's here too, but you're also both here, okay? And that energy of the ties that bind. You know, and a lot of times it's a twin flame journey can feel <laughs> torturous. You know, it's, it does. It's just, that's just part of it. And there is shadow work here though, you guys, like I said, look at this. And by the way, this hasn't eluded me. It's the judgment card. It's in reverse. This is Archangel Gabriel. It's the angel for messages coming together for the greater good, divine justice. This person... Um, your, I keep saying this person, your twin flame. And by the way, if this is the vice versa energy for you and you're, you're resonating with that, it might be you. But yeah, Archangel Gabriel is, is not able to do the work at the moment, okay? So there is some shadow work that 
is underway. That's what I want to say to you. You can see in the Seven of Swords that the actual runner, <laughs> your twin flame, that energy is, is past. So whether that's within days, weeks, months, or years for you, because it's coming in reverse now. So this is, they're having some awakenings here. Do I feel like they're awake and coming in for union? I don't, you guys. But I do feel like there's some wake up energy and there's a lot of strength required here. And they're struggling, you guys. I mean, it's the strength card. And you know, the eighth star from the star card is a is a gift to the strength card. It's a lot of wake up energy there. Somebody getting some clarity. This is happening, but it feels heavy. I mean, you see in the partnership placement, the Empress, you know, and she can grow anything. She has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, fire, love, friendship, the clarity, the commitment, physical relationships, the passion, everything is there. So the thing is, is do I feel like she's being accessed in today's reading and and coming to you, not really, because if you look right below it, the judgment card is here and there's still some denial and you're both in here too, by the way, okay? But the timing that I feel, the divine timing that is coming through here, I do feel is possibly some communication, let's see. But this is just not surprising at all. Everybody, both of you, I say everybody, your twin flame, you, you twin flame, your twin flame are here. Okay, and it might feel like, yeah, the devil energies, what's going on? I don't understand this. I miss my person. Are they ever going to write? Feels like, you know, that energy of what's only happening to you, you guys. But remember the twin flame journey, you know, you're brought together for a reason, for the, the highest good of all. And it's not time for union. You know that with the twin flame journey, when you're on the twin flame journey, you know, union can be this lifetime. It can also not be. It would be, I would say, anyone telling you in readings, you know, especially all the time in a twin flame reading, you're coming together, you're coming together. It's just not, you know, it's not reality. It can happen, of course. Of course, you guys. But these are general readings. Here, there's shadow work going on. It's the Four of Swords. This is Jupiter and Libra energy. This is the expansion this is wisdom and growth. Getting, literally, excuse me, messages here and healing going on. This is Mother Earth. This is Gaia energy. This is also growth. The Jupiter energy, growth. The wisdom. I mean, it's the owls. <laughs> you know, the guardian of the night. You're being guided through this journey, you guys, through your twin flame journey and what you're going through and the shadow work that's going on. Some of you might be in a dark night of the soul. It won't be for everybody. I do feel that your twin flame either is still in it or coming out of it. So there's some major struggles going on here. It's pretty intense, you guys. And yeah, it can be that there is some overspending going on, some overconsumption, you know, and that can also be you, of course. You look here and it's, you know, it's a major arcana. You look here in the Eight of Cups, it's a minor arcana. This is, this is, okay, these are both sliding out, so we're going to take them. Yeah, so there's the Three of Swords, the Two of Wands. Okay, this doesn't really surprise me because the energy in today's reading is that somebody is wanting to reach out. Can they? I don't know, you guys. Let's see. And you know, and it's, it's a reading. This can be physical travel, but this is also the journey. Look, they're on the wand. Somebody's, this is a pensive energy for me. You know, in this card, they're just, here they're crossed over. It's the two of you connected. They're, their claws are really out trying to stay, you know, grounded, I want to say, even though they're not on the ground. You're very much on their mind, you guys. And this decision 
can be around coming to you, but they're also going through something. As I said, this is intense. This can also be you here, but the Three of Swords doesn't surprise me because the energy from this reading from the get-go is that I feel it's your person going through a breakup, possibly a divorce. There's a, there's a lot of loss here. This can also be you. I mean, the Empress in the upper right is a very hopeful energy here, you guys. For me, this is really very much the shadow work that is going on. But as far as movement, no. I mean, you can see that. There's some denial still here. And I don't know where I was before because I got distracted by those cards. So I'm just going to have to let go whatever messages I was sending through and they'll come back. They'll come back in the way that they're meant to come back. But again, it's the Four of Pentacles and, and their pursuit of, I feel like, well, yeah, not wanting to let you go, not wanting to let something else go. This person has, there's a lot of loss here. There's a big loss going on. Is this you too? It might be, for some of you, this might be you. But I feel like this is, if it's and or, that can be the case and or, you know, both of you in alignment in that way. But you're also both here. There's a, there's loss going on, of course. I mean, it's the three of swords. It's Saturn and Libra. You know, this is Saturn energy. It's Saturn and Capricorn. And, well, yeah, you guys, it's heartbreak around this twin flame energy. It's the divine, it's divine timing. Third parties, most likely. Yeah, and we can see somebody in this reading today is also possibly in a divorce, a separation, that, that energy, okay? And I do want to bring it through, and it's kind of kicking off some things here. Like I said, somebody might be kind of coming to an end with this devil card energy. I mean, it's really strong, and it's weird. I just got a message here in the Eight of Cups. Hmm. I'm wondering. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I just got this feeling that addiction is just kind of coming through here, and it can be whatever scale it's on. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm wondering if that's some of you as well. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, you guys, I need to move on. I need to move on, but this is where I was. So I'm being guided back to the Four of Swords, this Jupiter and Libra energy, and it's where you're going. You know, here, also the Hermit card energy, the Hangman energy, in particular the Hermit card energy. I'm going to see if that's wanting to be here because I'm feeling it a lot, you guys. This is the time necessary to heal recovering. So whether you're in your, you've started, you're really feeling your shadow work or you're about to get into it because that's also what's going on here for me in the two of wands. Being guided by this owl, the message is coming through, having the courage. The four of swords, I have to say, you know, and here today in particular, Three of Swords for me, almost every reading, it's always they come down together, it feels like, you know, whether or not they're in reverse or the upright or whatever. This all looks kind of content here. So this is a really necessary, a really necessary, I want to say, well, yeah, detachment for a lot of you, okay? listening to the messages from the divine here, from the Gaia energy, Mother Earth, gaining some, gain, well, you guys, shadow work. <laughs> There's really no other way to put it here. This can be you too. Look at this Three of Swords in between here the judgment in reverse, because you're both here. So there's, a, there's an alignment there. There is not a connection to come together. I still feel that there's a message maybe coming through. So there is the star card. It did come. It's in reverse, though, so that's really interesting. 
Yeah, but this isn't surprising at all. This is the sadness around not only your twin flame connection, but something that's going on in either your life or their life. And it can't even be that there's some kind of unison going on, you guys. Okay, like an alignment in energies, I want to say. This fear of changing the lives that you're in, but not being able to detach. Because shadow work is being screamed out here. <coughs> we know you're twin flame and you are in separation and no contact. This is a validation of that. Look at how the lion is, is really acknowledging the owl here. But for me, this is also what we saw coming, you guys. Looking up here, knowing that they've potentially lost you. It's how they're feeling, okay? Generally, a runner doesn't really know what's going on, but they're, they're feeling it right now is what I want to say is this feeling of the disconnection between you and the loss is coming up in, in your twin flames energy right now. This is what's happening, okay? Because in the process of not letting anything go and untangling, there's a lot of loss here. Like this feeling of that they've lost everything. Now, the Eight of Cups in reverse, it's kind of eluding me <laughs> at this point because it felt like that they want to send you a message, you know, but they're ignoring you still here, okay? There's a little bit of arrogance. There's some depression around it. This is Aquarius, Uranus energy. This for me is more about the energy coming up because they're at the bottom somehow, you guys, whether they're in a dark night of the soul or they're coming out of it. Again, that can also be you. I mean, look at this. You know, this this is just shadow work going on. It's really, really strong for me. But it, we also see that, that there is not union coming through here. You might be having trouble detaching right now needing, really, really needing the Empress and her energy to help you get into your shadow work and grow, you guys. Your life purpose, you're not really, neither of you are really moving on. There's a real alignment here. I'm wondering where some of you are in your twin flame journey. So the Three of Swords is, is in regard to the two of you but it's also in regard to another connection. It's really strong. That might be ending or going through some trouble. So that could be you too, you guys. This is wanting to come off. It's the Seven of Wands. Interesting. This is Mars and Leo energy. And it's, yeah, this feeling of not wanting to be hurt, feeling kind of, kind of a lot of, <laughs> Defensive coming right after, interesting, the Six of Wands. So it's like going forward and going back. We saw that hot and cold energy. Look, it's the Page of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, so this is, you guys, whew. This is some breakup energy for somebody in their life, and this is also about this disconnect. So for some of you, this might be... It's just that your twin flame energy is really up in your business right now, or it can be a new separation. That won't be for everybody. But it's the Page of Swords in reverse. So there's also this feeling, like we already know here, of not being able to t detach. And what I wanted to say is it's sort of like one step forward, two steps back feeling with the Devil card and the Seven of Wands because you have all the obstacles. They've You feel like, okay, I've overcome some... Not all of them, right? It's life. Some obstacles, some challenges, some conflicting energy in my love life and how I feel. And this is for both of you. You guys, it's really clear that somebody's going through something in, in, in addition to the Twin Flame journey, a connection, which is just not surprising. And of course, your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, should this be you, is sending you strength and reminding you to love yourself, you guys. And go into this Four of Swords if you're not there. But what I wanted to say is then that then there's, you know, yeah, I've made it through. There is a celebration. It's victorious. And then all of a sudden, 
you know, you're in the seven of wands and it's like, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I've made it through here, but there's still this to get through. It's the Seven of Wands, you know. There's still some connections, some messages. I want to say, of course, that you need to hear, but also maybe in real time. Between you and another person, not even your twin flame, your person, your twin flame and, and someone in their life. And yeah, between the two of you, because that did come through. But doing shadow work and detaching, you're having a hard time. Look. This just revealed itself under under there when I removed the Page of Swords in reverse, which I don't always do, you guys. It's just a feeling that I'm having today. There's that Jupiter energy. It's Gemini energy. It's communication. And it's the Jupiter energy of feeling stuck, not being clear, feeling like you're not moving forward. And this is also really aligned, you guys, for the two of you in communication and your person, yeah, are they holding themselves back? Yeah, I do feel that they're holding themselves back, you guys. Gemini is all about communication, you know, and of course, an aid is action and movement. It's also an infinity symbol. There's a lot of Gaia energy around it. And you can see it's cold. The divine is frozen. The snow is making it quieter. My throat chakra, do you hear it as I'm sending you this message? It's a very isolating feeling sometimes, the twin flame journey, and that's really true here. So it can be that there's stuff going on in your life, and it's like a refuge to go here in some ways and think about your twin flame. This is so strange. I just feel like you're both kind of here in, in many ways, you know? Just feeling like, well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a cold feeling. It's... The lack of communication, the lack of clarity, truth, what the heck is going on? You kind of go there and say, okay. And yeah, for some of you, this might be you, you guys. I want to be delicate here. That somebody is just kind of checking out in some ways, you know, and overconsumption does come through. You know, and then as things kind of are falling apart around, <laughs> you know. You guys, do I feel that your twin flame is holding back from connecting? I do. It's pretty clear here, you guys. There is a fear of changing their life. They're very connected to you. You're both connected. You're in this together. That's the thing. Look, you're in this together. Okay? The ties that bind. And, yeah. But there's something going on here. It's just really clear for me. This person, your, your twin flame, you guys, your twin flame, your divine counterpart, they want to be able to apologize to you. And I'm wondering if it will come through. It just, I thought it might. The communication energy is strong for me. My throat chakra is like calming down now. <laughs> They're stuck. Hi, guys. I don't know when that ended. I removed the Eight of Swords. We saw Temperance. And what I was saying is that something that's going on in their life, and this can also be you, is, is just kind of spinning things around here, you know? Temperance is here, you guys. Archangel Michael. Strength and courage. Lighting the way to the truth and the best path for everyone. Finding a solution. I feel like Archangel Michael is here to get you in your shadow work, you guys. Or back in there if you haven't been in the Four of Swords. Protective energy, for sure. You know, not wanting to wanting to just hear from your twin flame and connect and not wanting to go through it. But this is what it is, you guys. This is what it is. You know, Archangel Gabrielle is in reverse. And it's the Herald of Visions. You know? And trying to show everybody, trying to wake everybody up and get you on your life purpose. You're both here. So this is a real alignment for me, you guys, and show everybody. But yeah, there's there's a stuck energy on both, both sides. And I, I don't want to invade any more on your Twin Flames energy. And I can't guide them. They're being guided. But 
you're here today in your reading. So for some of you, it's it sounds so simple to say it's detachment, you know, but it is. I mean, you can see it, you know, I'm just simply getting into here and I need to bring in some more, you guys. We're keeping temperance, okay? And I actually really love what just got revealed. The Wheel of Fortune. Do I feel that, you know, you're coming together? I don't. But I do want to tell you, it can be the message that I was feeling does come through. This is some, possibly some messages coming in that you really wanted to hear. But it can also be the divine, you guys. Okay? Either way, it's the cycles of life. It's your spirit guides, angels, and it, this throat chakra is crazy. Coming in to remind you that it's the cycles of life and that it, you're going to be okay. This is fate and destiny. Your destinies are intertwined and your twin flame, it's, it's also, they're also a soulmate. It's a really deep soulmate connection. And of course, you feel like you've known them forever somehow. And some of you may have twists of fate here getting you on a different path. Also your twin flame. This throat chakra is crazy. I'm wondering if there's going to be some messages regarding what's going on because I feel like as we, as the energy came in really early that somebody's going through not just the separation in the twin flame energy, although for some of you it might be new, but a divorce, breakup, some major life changes. It came through from the beginning. It's been supported. We see it. But that can also be you, or it may even be both of you. And, you know, you might be having a hard time here. Look, the Five of Wands did show itself. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. They're fixed signs. They don't like change. You know, they don't like change. So the struggling against detaching, struggling against something that's going on in their life, possibly you as well. But this is also your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors for you while you're here saying, yeah, it's a new cycle. You're going to be okay. There are still some challenges going on, and we know that. We saw that with the Seven of Wands because it brought in, you know, of course, the Five of Wands. But the reason we're seeing this again is because I did feel that it's like two steps forward, two steps back. Do you know what I mean? And here it is. My throat chakra is crazy, you guys. It's Saturn and Libra energy. And it's just saying, yeah, there are still challenges ahead and you're in them. There's still obstacles here. <sighs> Tap into the strength energy, you guys. And... Yeah, love yourself through this journey. This is not an easy journey. And again, some of you really might be going through, might be you too, as I said, going through this breakup or divorce and temperance. And of course, I know it's, for some of you, it's a fresh separation even from your twin flame or you're just feeling like you, you're having a hard time detaching and surrendering, okay? Temperance is here, you guys. Archangel Michael is saying, I'm here to help you. Look, I want to show you the truth. I want to light the way to the truth here for everybody, the best path for the highest good of all. And that's the sun. That's happiness, you know, overcoming some challenges. Of course, there's going to be more. They're going to present themselves. This is the source, God, goddess, the universe, the divine spirit. It's the crown chakra. It's knowing, it's knowing that, it, that you're going to come out of this and that this is divine timing. Empress is here. It is. It's the divine and divine timing when, when you connect with your twin flame and what's going on in your life in general. I'm keeping this and I'm moving the energy now. We'll bring in another deck and messages from their higher self, you guys. Yeah, but your twin flame is going through something here and possibly you, you might be going through it at the same time. It's the Page of Wands. Hmm. That might be the message, you guys. There's the offer. Look, it's a, <laughs> it's a lizard. 
There is a loyalty to the owls, you know. They're very loyal to their person, their owl person. And they, they see other owls as competition, you know, prey, enemies, that sort of thing. They're wanting to come in here and offer you this offering. What do I think it is? I do feel like it's a message. And it can be in regard to what they're what you're maybe not seeing if, if you're connected online or what what was left the last time you spoke or wrote. Yeah, this is feeling of a message, you guys. It could be here just in the reading today, but it's been strong. My throat chakra has been really intense, as you know. It's the death card, and it's coming in reverse, and this is exactly what we know. It's feeling really... It's a feeling of being destroyed, you know? Of hope being destroyed. It's stagnant. It's not moving. It's feeling stuck. It's the Eight of Swords. It's a lot of energy here, you guys. And it's wanting to be right here with the Judgment in Reverse and the Four of Swords. So that your guys are, you guys are in, <laughs> you guys are in alignment. It's a Magician in Reverse, you guys. You're not enjoying this separation at all. Of course not. I, there is the wake up energy that I felt, so the judgment might be in a little bit of a spin for your twin flame. You're both feeling the separation from each other, but but there's some big changes going on in your lives and nobody's able to come together. And in particular, you're here probably wanting to hear about your twin flame and we can see that. There's a lot of challenges I feel that they're still in as well. I mean, we that came through very, very, very early. It's the Magician card. In reverse, you guys. Gemini Virgo energy as above, so below in reverse. So it's not getting what you want, you know? And it's it's not able not being able to access the resources of the magician. And for me, this isn't just about this connection, you know, this is just feeling a little stuck in life in general, you know, in everything because the twin so this is for me, it's like getting into the shadow work or struggling to to get back in, whatever the case may be. Because it's you know, alchemizing. It's the stuff that was triggered, you know, that you're being forced to look at also for your twin flame and helping that on your life purpose, your journey, the whole point of the twin flame journey and waking up. And it's also in reverse. So for me, this is some unfulfilled potential in your life and also for your twin flame. This is all in alignment for me today, you guys. It's Mercury energy, by the way, planet of mind, the planet of communication and this for me today, why I feel this is here, I'm going to set it down now, you guys, is just not being able to do other things because of being overwhelmed here, you know, and it's going on for everybody. But this is a message for you, okay, and getting you focused and turning your visions into reality, your life purpose, what it is that you're wanting to do, taking some inspired action, getting that judgment card in the upright for you. Do I feel that your twin flame is sending a message? Look, it's the knight of swords in reverse as I say that. I mean, this is still not communicating. It's possibly ghosting, you know, not responding to a message, that sort of thing. I do still feel it. But, you know, the knight of swords... This is Libra and Mercury energy. It's possibly, well, yeah, you know, and Libra does bring in balance, brings in the lack of truth. We see that here. Again, it's a hot and cold energy for me. So it can be that, that you've got a message and then you didn't get another one or you saw a message unsent. Maybe you're trying to write one yourself, you guys. And it's a feeling. It's a really harsh feeling. It's the death card in reverse feeling here. It's really brutal. You're both feeling this separation, you guys. Don't be fooled if you think that they're not. But there's something going on in their life that you don't know about. And vice versa. It can be they don't know what's going on with you. Let's get into my soul deck. One of my many <laughs> soul decks. It's in German. Don't worry about it. 
Um, I'll tell you what it is, and you'll know anyway. It's what I use, one of many decks I use here in Austria for my in-person um, readings. Let's see what else is going on. I need to fix my stuff here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. <laughs> yeah, you guys, that's what's going on here. You're both in the same energy. Oh my gosh. Neither of you are... You're both having a hard time detaching and separating and getting, with, getting on with your life and what you need to do your life's journey, you guys, this is super clear. So all this energy that, I'm, that I've been feeling of things falling apart around their life and being a little bit obsessed but not being able to change anything in their life and come is an alignment for me. I feel like it's both of you. I'm putting you both here. Just look at the chains. You guys, yeah, so they're thinking about you as much as you're thinking about them, but they're also going through something too and not able to detach. Neither of you are. It's a message for both of you, but I can only get to you. <laughs> okay, you guys. Gosh. Sometimes, so look, this is too many. It's the sun card. This is temperance trying to get you on the right path. We know that already. New cycle here. It's too many cards to take, you guys, but this is coming out. It's the Seven of Swords in the upright. Yeah, it's the running energy. This is the hot and cold. This is the, they're not, they're afraid to change your twin flame. And that's just not surprising at all, you guys. In this reading today, we can see that they may come in, they may come out, you know. They're, yeah, not being honest, running, not running, wanting to come in and talk putting their defenses back up. Well, there's maybe even playing some games, but that's not really the energy I'm feeling. This is more of somebody who's going through something who doesn't want to change their life. Your twin flame. Both of you, you know, but they're kind of in and out. So it can be, it, this is a really hard disconnection, you guys. But it can be that there's, you know, messages coming in, deleted, not responded to that sort of energy. Maybe even a conversation for some of you that was really hurtful, but hanging on to those things. There's a strong message of detachment needed here, you guys, but I can't tell your twin flame that. Only you. It's the Knight of Swords now in the upright. I'm going to keep it here. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a thousand percent what I feel here today. My gosh, it's like, I want to say this, I want to... Um, I want to say this. I, I can't say this. I, I want to, I want to just change everything and tell my twin flame how I'm feeling, but I can't. I mean, it's, it's sending it here. There's a strong connection to also, you might be doing a lot of dreaming about your twin flame right now. These three just came down together. It's the most I take. It's the High Priestess, Divine Feminine Energy, Cancer Energy. Yeah, you guys, this is your Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors sending it down to you. Getting Look, the Eight of Swords is here now. Every single message is being repeated here, you guys. Are you seeing this? It's so goosebumpy. This is for you, getting you out of there, unstuck. Literally, of course you're intuitive, highly psychic, and you're either listening or you're not, but this is a message to listen, to make a decision, to get unstuck. Here you guys, in this Eight of Swords energy, because you're putting yourself there so that you can get on and move on with your life, okay? Whatever's going on in your, in your life, but in this journey, there's a heavy obsession going on, you guys. And you're going to know what else. Yeah. It's the Eight of Cups. Everything is coming back. This is wild. This is for you, detaching you guys. This is really strong. It's that action number. It's super emotional. I know you don't want to. Look, you're looking over here at the Eight of Cups and saying, forget it. <laughs> I'm staying here. I'm going to pretend like I don't see all the stuff going on in my life and... I just want to go in and, and think about them and 
wonder and wish and no. And, you know, looking over here saying, yeah, look, look at this. Communication, actually. This is a really strong message from your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, guys. That it really acknowledging this feeling, this really brutal feeling of the separation and but asking you to acknowledge it and the triggering. And for some of you, this might be also telling us what's going on in your shadow work. A really strong feeling of abandonment here from your twin flame, but also they brought it up in your life. So there's like fighting against it. And some of you are going through it in your life too. Maybe with another partner, family of origin, Highly likely that it's with an, another partner, whatever that is, you know. But it's bringing up all this stuff and there's just a super stuck energy. And your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors are saying it's okay. Take care of yourself. You're going to be okay. This is how it's playing out. The cycles of life are always turning. So there is a new cycle. Don't worry. Trust yourself, your intuition, your gut instincts. It's us, <laughs> your guardian angels. We're here for you. We see what's going on in this alignment, you guys, but this is really strong for you. And yeah, does it come through with your twin flame being hot and cold running? It does. This is an active runner, but it's somebody who's maybe popping in and hot and cold and confusing you, maybe with messages and so on and so forth. But they're going through something too. I want to show you what just revealed itself, and then we're going to get some love messages. So yeah, this is... The six of wands also came. We thought we knew the five of wands would come and the six, and they both did. But it's the six of wands in reverse. Jupiter and Leo energy. And yeah, this is that feeling of hot and cold. Sending a message, I'm not sending a message. This is a message for me in many ways, okay? This is some of that news that I thought we would get in the Wheel of Fortune. And it is the, the major arcana and it is in the upright. And I do feel that they're trying desperately to, if not get you a message to the 3D, for sure sending you telepathic messages, excuse me, energetic messages through music, signs, letting you know that they're thinking of you and that they're sorry and they can't move and they're going through a lot and they, they're trying to tell you, I might not be able to tell you I'm hearing. You know, this is exactly what we felt. You know, the five of wands, the challenges, cele celebratory. At some point, this was in the upright before the seven of wands came. Now it's in reverse again. You know, and it's not being able to get that message through. Not really knowing what to do here. Other obstacles here you guys there they are that's the five of wands obstacles in the six of wands and it's in reverse so that's not and the five of wands is in the upright here so there's still a lot of obstacles and challenges look personally connected to the strength card and of course it's the infinity symbol in there but also on the on the journey and borrowing that star that we knew about for hope and renewal and you might not even be accepting it it's in reverse you know Okay, you guys, I'm going to bring in a um, our messages from their higher self. Then we're going to close your reading, okay? What do you want to say to your twin flame? I saw someone that looked like you. It felt like you were here. They're also acknowledging this, you guys. Whoa, yeah. As they're stuck here in the Eight of Swords, you're both, <laughs> you're both stuck. Look at this. I, as I said, you're in alignment, you guys. You're both feeling the same way, but you got to get moving on your journey, you guys, okay? Look at this. The Devil card, repeat the Eight of Swords. This is driving me crazy. I'm trying to, it's just how it is, okay? They're also acknowledging it is what I want to say, that they're stuck, and also when that they know that they weren't being honest, that they ran. Look, you're looking at each other. God, you guys, I can't. <laughs> you're reading Twin Flames. You're looking here at them. They're not even looking. You're not even looking either, but your head is over there in the, the energy. 
your energy. You guys are so aligned, it's ridiculous. But there's super strong messages here for you to detach and let those feelings of abandonment and the things that have been brought up in this connection, because that's what happens on the Twin Flame journey, let it guide you, okay, to see that this is, it's scary to change. That's the fixed signs in the Wheel of Fortune. It's a super strong message. There is a new cycle. There always is. It's the cycles of life, you guys. Twists of fate. Yeah, but you're coming into your destiny. Just get your blindfold off, okay? It's the high priestess energy here connecting. They're here, you guys. And there is a hot and cold, but, you know, if it comes through, it comes through. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I am ashamed of the way I handled things. Yeah, look, that's a really strong energy. Come to me in my dreams, I'll kiss you there. Yeah, dreams, as I said, you guys. Dreams, music, signs. Sometimes I imagine just packing up and coming to you. So this just revealed itself. Yeah, it's super strong. It's hot and cold, hot and cold. You are my person. Okay. Thinking of you brings me peace. I cannot stand not talking to you. Yeah, that's it's brutal. That's the death card in reverse energy. We see it. This person also, nocturnal city here, you guys. <laughs> nocturnal city here. You know, the deck even that I chose for you. Been very attached to this deck. Um, the energy recently. And it's the nocturnal energy. It's the guardian of the night. It's the owls. You know, and their owls are... They're quiet. They're independent. They work behind the scenes, you guys. And, and interestingly enough, they're really not that emotional. They're not like super emotional and overly cuddly, but they're very detail-oriented. And yeah, I mean, it's coming through for the shadow work for me, you guys. For the shadow work and behind the scenes. It's all that stuff going on. I did not expect to fall so in love with you. I will always love you. I am so sorry I lied to you. I feel so much guilt for what I did. There's a lot of that energy here. Okay, these are the last, well, these are the last three. And then we're going to get some Candy hearts that I made for you. Valentine's Day. We're just going to bring them in anyway. It hurts my heart that we can't be together. Yeah, that's the death card in reverse, you guys. I want to talk, but I'm afraid I still can't offer enough. This is also the, the reading in a nutshell. I really do care. Please believe me. Yeah, because it can be that a message made it through and it went back, you know. It's what they're wanting, but they're just really in something here. You guys are in alignment. It's, whoa. You're my favorite person. Where did that go? Meet me in the 5D, you guys. Yeah, that's the Five of Wands for me today. I mean, yeah, it's the 5D. It's all the challenges and the obstacles. You're still connected regardless. Embrace or sending you an embrace thinking of you now. I'm hiding my true feelings. They're sending you a kiss too, you guys. Love me. And acknowledging that you're also soulmates. We are soulmates. They might also just feel this and not know, you know, that's often the case. Twin Flames, that's your reading today. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really appreciate it a lot. A lot. You guys, if you enjoyed your reading, please like the reading, share the reading, watch more readings, subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Oh, there's one more here. These things help the channel grow and continue to grow and, and so that I can continue channeling for you. 
I really appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you know when readings are coming. This throat chakra is a lot <laughs> for me to handle here. Somebody is choked up. They have a lot they want to say to you. And I feel really emotional. Like, yeah, this is a very... You guys, this person really wants... Your twin flame really wants to say these things to you. They're sorry. They do love you. They do miss you. They can't change. They're going through a lot right now. They're acknowledging this attachment. I mean, it's intense. It's There's stuff going on, but... It feels really emotional. I am always with you. Okay. All the links are below, you guys. They're also attached to the Twin Flame playlist here. Okay, take really good care of yourselves. Have a beautiful day, okay? Have a great day, you guys. And I look forward to seeing you at another reading. Bye, Twin Flames.